Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the time America tried to invade Scotland. So how are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and safe out there. Just before we get started today, I think it's probably worth mentioning that we hit 10,000 subscribers. Yes, we have. Thank you all very much. It's blown my mind. You're all incredible. Every 10,010 of you now, actually, all 10,010 of you, thank you so, so much. I, I can't explain how genuinely, genuinely, genuinely over the moon um, that we are in the Brunful, Brunford household. You've, you've just, it, it, it's unbelievable. So thank you all very, 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 very much. And before I tell you today's story, um, I want to do something to celebrate. 10,000 and I've been trying to think about it for a while um, so I want you to help me if that's okay I want to do 10 challenges for 10,000 subscribers now I do this sort of thing on our Patreon um, if any of you want to uh, support our Patreon these people here are actually incredible supporters of our Patreon and on there um, I do a monthly challenge video uh, for a bit of fun uh, for one of the tiers and I did things like the hot chip challenge and it's fun and it's a little bit different so I'd like to do something like that for hitting 10,000 subscribers as well as our normal every Saturday video for 10 weeks once I come up with 10 challenges on a Wednesday where we did the um, Scottish memories we'll do 10 challenges I want you to help me come up with the 10 challenges okay so something fun Something different, just just to do, just to celebrate ten thousand subscribers, ten challenges. Sound fair? I think it's good. So, if you've got any way of coming up with an idea, any suggestions for a challenge, the hot chip challenge that I did as an example, maybe I'll do that again if enough of you want me to do that for a video. You know, you see what I'm saying? Or if you're a local Edinburgh business and you happen to watch these videos and you go, you know what, we've got a challenge for you, come and do this, then let me know. Let, I don't, I'm open to all suggestions and we'll make it fun. And for 10 weeks, once we've got 10 challenges, I will do 10 different challenges. How does that sound? I, it's, it's my way of celebrating hitting 10,000 subscribers. So yeah. So there we go. I hope you'll join me, join me help and celebrate that and uh, hit me with your best shot, people. Let me see what you've got. So you will notice, you will notice today that I'm here at the coast, I'm here at Leith. I'm here at the docks at the coast. Um, obviously, sea, that's the sea right there. And you can't see it from here really, because uh, that's uh, uh, behind there is the Firth of Forth and then it's, it's Fife on the other side of that. The Kingdom of Fife. Um, but I came down here for a reason to tell uh, this week's story about when America tried to invade Scotland. Now it's it's a funny story, um, but it's one that I don't think I've ever heard it talked about really um, on any of the store or any of the stories I've ever tried to research. And when I read it, I was like, really, really, um, invading's maybe maybe not the right word it's maybe not the right word but it's definitely it's definitely close to that anyway this has got to do with the american civil war so during the american civil war america was wanting to well attack attack britain yes maybe the right word maybe the right word with the aid of the spanish and the french um, however, it's obviously at the most of most of the targets was down south. Now, you know, it was it was Britain as a whole they were attacking um, because you know we it, it, it was it was it was the revolution against Britain. That's that's what it was. Um, so with that, at the time, all garrisons, guns, and big guns and everything like that had been recalled, for lack of a better word, to down south. So, which left other parts of Britain, Leith here included, defenceless. For all intents and purposes, this was, in hindsight, a silly thing to do. I mean, no one died. 
in this um, attempted invasion. So, who led this um, invasion? I'm going to call it an invasion. An attempted invasion. Attack against um, the British and the Scottish um, for America. Well, believe it or not, it was a Scot. Because <laughs> you have to remember, America was built by people emigrating over there. And the Scots were a big part of that. The Irish big part of that. Lots of people from everywhere was a big part of that. You know, the, the world, the, 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 the country was new and it was... I don't know, if you're from America, you don't need me to tell you all of this. The country was new and people from all over the world were were building a country. You know what I mean? And you wanted to to, to, to make it your own because, because essentially the king here in Britain was taxing the bejesus out of you all and you didn't want your money to go over to him which is fair enough and and that and you know and it's fair enough um anyway so yes john paul jones who was also depicted as the hero of the revolution the naval hero hero naval hero of the revolution Try saying that three times fast. Tast. He'd, he'd done other invasions or attacks on Britain from from boats, from ships, um, uh, at the time as well. It's funny. You look at it from a British perspective, he was seen as a pirate. Because um, I think he'd done a little bit of plundering. You know, he wasn't, you know, just, just there for the military might. I think he'd done a little bit of thievery there as well. I don't know the full story. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was... He was depicted as a, as a military naval hero from the revolution. Anyway, he was told to cause a distraction. He was told to cause a distraction. And he had happened to overhear somewhere that the main guns of Leith, which were essentially protecting the harbour here at Leith and Edinburgh, which remember at the time Leith was not part of Edinburgh. Leith was its own city. Um, so it wasn't part of Edinburgh, but it was the main harbour essentially for Scotland at the time. Um, so, but all the protection to it had been taken down south. He found this out. He heard this, and he went, "Er, I have a cunning plan. How about I invade Edinburgh and Leith? They will have no way of defending against me." That's my 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 impression. Um, I didn't really even sound Scottish since he was born in Scotland. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, I think actually his plan was to try to essentially hijack someone, kidnap someone and hold them for ransom as well. Because like I said, he didn't mind making a little bit of money. Um, so yeah, so that's what he did. He tried to come up... Well, he did. There, there's no trying about it. Him and I think two other ships came up the fourth to attack Edinburgh and to attack Leith. Now, there was nothing here. There was no military forces here whatsoever. And Edinburgh Castle up the road had a minimal, minimal amount of military at the time. They weren't, they, 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 there was no way that they thought that attack was gonna happen in Scotland and Edinburgh. London was the center of the world. So that's where they thought it was gonna happen. There was gonna, there was gonna come down the Thames. It was gonna be down at Dover. And, and he knew that all the military, all the British military ships were down that way. So he came round the top of Scotland and came down the, the, the east coast of Scotland and came in that way because he went, they won't expect me that way. And they went, he was absolutely right. No one expected it. He came up and everyone here went, oh no! And they ran, everyone ran away because they had no way of defending the place. Absolutely zip, zero, none. Everyone was cacking their pants. They, they, there was nothing they could do. Three big military ships for the time coming up and there was nothing. This wasn't here. That wasn't there. This wasn't here. This wasn't here. In fact, most of this was a beach. It was a lovely beach. None of this was here. They're all Royal Yacht Britannia's around the corner there. The Queen's old yacht. That wasn't there. That wasn't even built at the time. Anyway. <laughs> um, so that was the plan. That was That's what he did. Um, and there's a poem. There's a little poem. Let me read you the poem. You've heard of Paul Jones, have you not? Have you not? And you've heard of Paul Jones, have you not? How he came to Leith Pier and filled the folk with fear. 
And he filled the folk with fear, did he not, did he not? And he filled the folk with fear, did he not? I mean, Shakespeare is not. But, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Um, anyway, it looked like all was lost. It genuinely, there was nothing they could do. He probably could come up at quite a slow pace. You know, waving to all the people with his guns. Going, I've got a gun. What are you going to do? And all they could do was run for the gun. That's about as good a poem as the one I just read. <laughs> um, however, apparently... It is said that Edinburgh and Leith was saved by Kirkcaldy across in Fife. Now this is actually because of the bishop. Was it the bishop of Kirkcaldy? People were praying, essentially. It's all they could do. Run and pray, pray and run. Maybe not in that order. And the Reverend Shira, minister of Kirkcaldy, gathering his flock... I'm, I'm reading to you now the story. Gathering his flock... On the beach, the Reverend was bothered more about the people of Kirkcaldy and, and his flock. Although I'm sure he cared for the people of Edinburgh. He would want no harm to come to anyone, because he's a Reverend after all. But he made a prayer to save the people of Kirkcaldy. And this, this is the very words he said. Now, dear Lord, dinna ye think it's a shame for you to send this vile pirate to rob our folk of Kirkcaldy? For ye ken, they're poor enough already, and he nothing to spare. The second, the second he finished this prayer, the tides turned, so to speak. Now this is, this is John Paul's own words now. A very severe gale of wind came on, and begun directly contrary obliged to me to bear away after having a vain endeavour for some time to withstand its violence. So essentially, the wind changed. And that saved Leith and Edinburgh. The, the, the wind must have started going this way and pushing him dun, dun, dun back out the first and fourth and, and you know he's fought it for as long as he could and he went you know what it's not worth it it's really not worth it because he wasn't going to get much anyway it was a diversionary tactic um, I don't know if he then came up with another diversionary tactic because the idea was he would cause a diversion up here and like I said the French and the Spanish would invade and, and, and attack um, down the bottom down, down the bottom end there but off he went uh, but that was the time that the Americans tried to invade Edinburgh and Scotland. This actually did lead to them building a fort in Leith, which unfortunately doesn't exist anymore. There's maybe a wall or two, but for the, but for the main part, it's, it's I think there's flats and things standing on it. But there was a fort here. I don't think it was a particularly good fort, though. I don't think they built it high enough, because it didn't allow for a proper view, and the guns didn't have a proper... I think it was more of a gesture than anything else. But it was manned for a long time. It was a manned fort for a long time. But yeah, it doesn't. there's bits and bobs of it, but the fort as it was doesn't really exist so much anymore. But there you go. The story of when America tried to invade Scotland. I like that story. I like that story. And, and some, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan of the stories of the American Revolution. Um, I love watching documentaries. I'm, 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 I'm just a geek. I'm, an, I'm really a geek. I love Scottish history. I love, I love history about World War II. I love history about the um, American Revolution. I find it fascinating. I really do. Um, so it's, it's nice that those, those two stories combine in some way. Since I've got my love of Edinburgh history, I've got my love of the American Civil War and the American Revolutionary War. Um, it's really, it's nice that, to, that for those to join in my own head, for me anyway. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'm sure some of you will know the story way more than I did, and I didn't, and, and, and say you've got this bit wrong. Yeah, maybe. I'm not a historian. But, if you enjoyed that, as always, please remember to hit that like button. Leave a comment, remember, I want to know your challenges. Help me celebrate 10,000 subscribers. Please, 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 please. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Come join the, the 10,000. Come join the 10,000 Clan Brinfords. But, until next time, bye humans.